Hello and bonjour, everyone. Thank you for tuning in right on time to the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. In fact, your timing is so precise that you've actually found me making my way over to the studio. My name is Catherine Clark. I'm the founder and CEO of Catherine Clark Communications, and I can't tell you how pleased I am to be your MC for today's event. We're starting off our awards ceremony today with a special kickoff message from an esteemed guest, Canada's Minister of Small Business, Export Promotion, and International Trade, the Honourable Mary Ng. We're always incredibly grateful to have support from our federal government partners. And while Minister Ng brings greetings, I'll make my way over to the official My Tax Entrepreneur Awards studio so that we can officially kick off this terrific ceremony. Minister Ng, over to you. Thank you, Catherine, for that introduction. Hello, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. It's Mary Ng, Canada's Minister of Small Business, Export Promotion and International Trade. I'm thrilled to help kick off the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. One of the best things about my job is meeting fantastic young entrepreneurs from coast to coast to coast who are coming up with phenomenal change-making ideas that will make a real difference in the lives of Canadians and people right around the world. Your energy, your creativity and your entrepreneurial spirit are truly an inspiration. You make my job of supporting and promoting Canada's entrepreneurs and helping them access new markets that much easier. There's just simply so much talent to draw from. But for all the great talent that we have here in Canada, we know that barriers continue to exist for many young entrepreneurs, especially for women or those from underrepresented backgrounds. And we know that barriers that have long existed have in case been made worse by the COVID-19 pandemic. No entrepreneur, no matter how brilliant their idea is, can be expected to know how to do everything right away. They need guidance and support as they navigate starting a business. And that's where organizations like MyTax come in. MyTax's commitment to supporting young people by giving them opportunities to gain experience in innovation and entrepreneurship is making a real difference, especially at this difficult time. That is why in Budget 2021, our government was thrilled to invest an additional seven and eight hundred million dollars over five years for my tax to grow and to expand upon its great work and it's why i'm so happy to be able to join all of you here as we celebrate the accomplishments of some of canada's best and brightest entrepreneurs i want to congratulate all of the winners i can't wait to see how you're going to change our country and the world i will now pass this back to catherine to get the ceremony underway merci beaucoup Hello, bonjour. It is my great pleasure to begin the sixth annual MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. C'est avec grand plaisir que je débute la cérémonie de remise des prix de l'entrepreneuriat MyTax de 2021. I'm Catherine Clark, founder and CEO of Catherine Clark Communications, and I am delighted to be your MC for today's event. The program will consist of special guests and their remarks, a fireside chat with MyTax alumni entrepreneurs, and the unveiling of the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Award winners, each of whom will receive this fantastic award commemorating their achievements. This past year has been extremely challenging for so many due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But today we come together to celebrate what has been found, a renewed resiliency and inspiration from those starting new businesses. 
And although we've currently lost our ability to gather in person, we're delighted to create a more inclusive virtual event that brings us together from around the world. And to help us do that, we're delighted to have talented sign language interpreters on screen with us today. Nous accueillons des participantes et des participants d'un océan à l'autre qui sont inscrites et inscrits à la cérémonie d'aujourd'hui. Merci de vous joindre à nous. First, it's my great honor to introduce Elder and Knowledge Keeper Claudette Commanda of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe peoples. Elder Commanda has dedicated her career to promoting Indigenous rights, history, and culture. The Executive Director of the First Nations Confederacy of Cultural Education Centers, Elder Commanda is an inductee of the Common Law Honor Society. She's taught many courses at her alma mater, the University of Ottawa, on First Nations women, Native education, First Nations people and history, Indigenous traditions, and decolonialization. Please join me in welcoming Elder Commanda. Kwe Kakina. Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everyone. Pijaje Koma and Nishnabe ki o mama wenanewak. Kani mich kijibun kinu ni dishnakaz. Hit the gan zibi donjibun. Bonjour tout le monde. Mon nom c'est Claudette Commander, je suis une femme algonquin de la nation Kitagan Zibi. Je suis très fière pour d'être ici pour donner des mots à bénédiction et aussi pour donner des mots à bienvenue. Bienvenue ici à la territoire ancestral de nos peuples, la nation algonquin. Greetings to everyone. Greetings. I welcome each and every one of you beautiful people to the homeland of the Algonquin people. I welcome you to this land that we refer to as Hunt Surrendered, the homeland that the Creator has given us since time immemorial, and the homeland that we will ensure will be your everlasting for our children, for our descendants. And I greet all Indigenous peoples across Canada, and I acknowledge your homelands. And I greet all Canadians from coast to coast to coast. I welcome you. And I'm very honored to be here with you, to bring you words of greetings, to welcome you, and to celebrate to celebrate your great achievements of the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. Celebrating. It's so important that we celebrate the success of entrepreneurs. Innovation, knowledge, success. It creates social change and, in essence, positive outcomes for our communities, for our societies, for Canada home and abroad. I commend each and every one of you entrepreneurs. Keep up the good work. Use your strength, your success, your knowledge. We celebrate you as you celebrate your success. The communities acknowledge the great work you are doing. And just remember, knowledge is power. Knowledge is good. And we thank you for what you are doing for all of Canada. Thank you to all the women entrepreneurs. I commend you and I raise these grandfathers in your honor. Chimi, Wedge, thank you so much. Take good care. Oh, well, thank you so much, Elder Commanda. And now I hope you're all ready to enjoy the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Awards, as this promises to be a very special showcase of Canadian entrepreneurial talent. MyTax est un organisme sans but lucratif qui favorise la croissance et l'innovation au Canada. En partenariat avec les meilleurs établissements d'enseignement au pays et à travers le monde, nous trouvons des solutions basées sur la recherche pour répondre aux défis de nos partenaires. Funded by the Government of Canada, each provincial government and a territory, post-secondary institutions, industry, not-for-profit, as well as international partners, MyTax works to drive innovation and support post-pandemic economic recovery. I would also like to thank MyTax Entrepreneur Award partners and sponsors, Sienna, our platinum partner, and Startup Canada, our event partner. Thank you to them for supporting today's event. Without their generous support, this celebration would not be possible. Thank you. Alors que la COVID-19 a dicté comment nous allons de l'avant avec une nouvelle perspective, j'aimerais que vous preniez le temps de bien regarder les lauréats et les lauréates des prix cet après-midi, puisqu'ils et elles font en effet partie de notre avenir prometteur. 
I'm very happy to share with you that each of the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Award winners will receive $5,000 to catalyze their businesses. Now, while we can't mix and mingle the same way as we would at an in-person event, we encourage you to connect with other guests in the chat function. You can also join the conversation on Twitter and please use the hashtag MyTax and Awards on Twitter and connect with other guests in the digital chat. Vous pouvez également participer à la conversation sur Twitter en utilisant le mot clé que prix en MyTax. And now it's my pleasure to introduce you to MyTax's CEO and Scientific Director, Dr. John Hepburn. John took the helm at MyTax shortly before the COVID-19 pandemic was declared. His previous roles as Vice President of the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research and Vice President Research at the University of British Columbia provided excellent preparation. However, as we've all experienced this past year, there was no map for charting these unprecedented times. John will share with us a bit of what this year has looked like at MyTax and he'll talk about the tremendous value of entrepreneurs. John, over to you. Merci pour la présentation, Catherine. And thank you for emceeing today's event. Thank you all for attending our sixth annual MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. This marks our second year in a virtual format. I must say, I'm incredibly proud and inspired by how those on the team at MyTax, our interns and our partners have pivoted throughout this pandemic and continually display outstanding resiliency. MyTax is honored to be entrusted by the Government of Canada, all provinces and one territory to support business and communities by delivering innovation. And now it is more important than ever to invest in our economic resiliency by supporting our entrepreneurs. Nous sommes très fiers de pouvoir offrir des opportunités et des connexions professionnelles aux élèves du niveau post-secondaire qui, à leur tour, acquièrent une éducation expérientielle et développent les compétences nécessaires pour devenir les leaders de demain. Our experience has shown that Canada's entrepreneurial disruptors and innovators will have far-reaching impact as the country segues to a post-pandemic reality. Today's Entrepreneur Awards showcase the marvelous talent developing into startup companies. I hope you will feel inspired by our 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Award winners and their applied ingenuity. Les prix reconnaissent ceux qui, malgré les défis de cette année, ont connu du succès dans leur initiative. The awards recognize how collectively we have pivoted, how we are demonstrating resiliency, and how we will succeed together. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our panel of judges who adjudicated today's awards. They are Ben Bergen, Council of Canadian Innovators, Pierre Boucher, Ericsson Canada, Katrina Carol Foster, collectively, Chris Gugu, Ulnaweg, Ragwa Gopal, Innovate BC, Diane Gray, Centreport Canada, Bruce Hardy, Function 4, Kay Isabel, Startup Canada, Victoria Lennox, Lennox Innovations, Jean Saville, McGill, Katrin Sommerfeld, Acadia University, and Alison Sundstrom, Conservex. Certainly, it was quite a challenge selecting this year's winners. I'd like to thank our platinum partner, Sienna, and our event partner, Startup Canada, for supporting today's event. Thank you to Elder Commanda for her welcoming remarks. And thank you to Drs. Paul Addo and Beatrice Malero Sanchez with CO2 for joining our fireside chat. Finally, thank you to Ministers Ng, Romano and Fitzgibbons for your encouraging words today and the continuing support from governments across Canada. It is precisely through our collaborative efforts that we catalyze entrepreneurship and innovation to drive Canada's economic success beyond this pandemic. Thank you again for joining us for the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. Catherine, back to you. Merci, John, and thank you for your inspiring words. And now I am pleased to introduce George F. Demiopoulos, project manager at Siena, our platinum partner. George drives innovation, academic research, and international collaboration as part of the 5G Encore program. Welcome, George. Thank you for the introduction, Catherine. For those of you who are not familiar with Siena, we are a networking systems, services, and software company for the telecommunications sector. Siena has been quite successful, but we certainly do not do this alone. We rely on an ecosystem here in Canada to help us stay competitive. 
It enables us to stay on the cutting edge of technological evolution and allows us to tap into a talent pool of brilliant, innovative minds. My responsibilities here at Siena include driving innovation and academic research, fueled through the highly successful Encore 5G program. At Siena, we provide a large number of internship opportunities, both directly funded and through programs like MyTax. We have a strong and successful partnership with MyTax, and it is with their help that we currently have over two dozen active Encore academic projects and hundreds of students contributing to the technology leadership of the Canadian marketplace. With the evolution of the technological landscape and the convergence of technologies like cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and 5G, programs like Encore and the contributions of MyTechs have never been more essential to Canada, allowing us to explore the technologies of the future, kickstarting the careers of the next generation of innovators and leaders, and stimulating the Canadian economy. Siena is extremely proud of our partnership with MyTex, and we applaud MyTex on all of their accomplishments. We look forward to our continued partnership, together driving and supporting innovation and academic research across Canada. And in closing, of course, we want to congratulate all of the entrepreneurs recognized here today, and we wish them continued success. It has been a pleasure to join you here today. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, George. MyTax is very grateful for Sienna's partnership. Next in our program today, it is my pleasure to introduce two entrepreneurs, the co-founders of Alberta-based CO2 Energy, who trace the origin of their business to their MyTax postdoctoral fellowships. Following their MyTax experiences, the founders of CO2 commercialized a novel technology that converts greenhouse gas emissions into high-value fuels and chemicals prior to environmental release. Their company is helping to reverse the trend of soaring carbon emissions. Please meet Dr. Paul Addo, President and CEO, and Dr. Beatriz Molero Sanchez, Chief Technology Officer and Director of CO2 Energy. Paul and Beatriz, welcome. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Paul, my first question is for you. In 2018, you did a MyTax Elevate Fellowship, and I'd love to have you please share with us your path as an entrepreneur, starting with that fellowship. All right. Thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I would say that you know, my entrepreneur journey started uh, actually from 2017. Um, right um, before we finish our PhD programs, myself and Beatrice, um, we had a lot of interest, you know, in our technology from industrial partners, right? So, you know, we had our interest, okay, right after the program, we'll be moving into commercializing the technology. And, um, you know, we also partnered with the university and also Innovative Calgary uh, to set up a separate lab, okay, away from the university, you know, focus mainly on... Uh, on, a, on the scale up of our prototype, right? And that has been very, very um, resourceful and useful for us. And in 2018, we incorporated and uh, we've been scaling up from there. Uh, we've scaled up about 200X up to date, right? And we have a full demonstration ready to go um, this year. So I would say it has been um, an interesting journey with the right uh, people you know, being part of us at the beginning up to this point. Yeah, it's a really exciting journey, Paul. And, um, and Beatrice, you and Paul came from the same laboratory at the University of Calgary, and you completed your MyTax Elevate fellowships at the same time. In 2019, that's just two years ago, even though it feels like 500 years ago, you were on this stage as a MyTax Entrepreneur Award winner. Can you share with us a bit about your journey since receiving the MyTax Entrepreneur Award for environmental? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Um, right around the same time that I was uh, on the stage uh, for that award, we were interviewing for a, for a prestigious accelerator, Texas Energy. And uh, I actually had to fly back and forth from Oslo to Halifax to get the award and then back there for the interviews. Um, you know, crazy to think about that right now, but uh, we actually got accepted into the program and then we relocated to Oslo in Norway for four months in, at the end of 2018 in, fall, in the fall uh, to be part of this program. And uh, we actually got a lot of traction through the program as well as from all of the uh, media and all the engagements from after the award. So because of all of that, we actually uh, committed, had three industrial partners committed. Uh, 
to help us out with our field demonstration, and uh, which is a huge step from for a technology like ours. And also, we've hired about two to two to three different interns with uh, MyTex programs since since then. But um, you've had a lot of opportunities and challenges along the way, for sure. Um, and Paul, on that on that note, what has been the greatest hurdle that you faced since launching your business, and how has MyTex been able to support CO two? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it has been uh, an interesting journey since 2017, 2018. Um, I would say that at the beginning, you know, since we're still at the R and D phase, right? You know, we came from the university, we had a small prototype. Um, so technically, we're still at the R and D phase. So we had the right amount of resources at the beginning, uh, in terms of you know the right funds, the right. Uh, advisors to be on board you know, to scale up. But um, our biggest hurdle now, you know, which is not very you know, peculiar to CO2 energy, it's actually with most startups, is that you know, at the R&D phase, you have enough capital, enough resources, right? But once you get to what we call the full demonstration phase, that's where we are now. You know, that's where things start getting you know, more difficult, right? It's more like a valley, and where it becomes difficult to you know, raise the right amount of capital for a full demonstration. And um, the other difficulty is that at that point, most of the government grants that you'll be applying for, you know, you need a matching capital, right? You need to match the, 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 the amount that you're requesting from the government grant. So it's very important to have that fund as a company, right? Um, so yeah, that would be, that has been our biggest um, hurdle to this point. But, you know, we've, we've, we're talking to various, you know, early stage investors, CVCs, you know, angel groups, and uh, we hope, you know, to cross that valley. And uh, we also have the right industrial partners on board. Um, in terms of uh, MyTax support, you know, it was very helpful. Um, the publicity we received, you know, from both awards, right, both nationally and also locally, you know, gave us a lot of traction and momentum. Um, I would say that it's not just about the money. It's not just about the funds, right? It's also about, you know, having the right network of people, you know, right strategy partners joining um, our efforts. And that has been very helpful, you know, from my tax, you know, giving us all those publicity. Yeah, and, and Beatrice, as you've grown your company, how have you been able to utilize the training and skills development provided during your my tax fellowship? Yeah, absolutely. I would say that I personally, I think both of us even started taking some of those training, my tax training before, and definitely it's, it's been really helpful. Um, anywhere from time management, project management, just different skills that um, in academia, you don't necessarily get trained as well and get us ready for this entrepreneurial journey. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, um, it's a completely different world, isn't it? I mean, um, there are no safety nets, really. So, And as Chief Technology Officer, um, Beatrice, what advice would you give to those commercializing the research that they've developed? Um, I would say there's, uh, there's many pros, but also many cons about commercializing your own research. I think the first one is, you know, first of all, you need to learn how to sh share it with the world and explain it in ways that most people can understand, whether it's an investor or a non-technical person, or just it's a little bit of a science outreach kind of project. If you, you know, done some of those, that's the first one. and and as technical people, you know, we, we know it inside out, so we're always going to explain it more. So that's a huge learning curve on how to pitch it, how to talk to investors and business people that don't necessarily want to understand all the details on the technology, um, but also remain objective and as much as you can detach yourself from the technology because... Um, Again, you can be really biased because it's your, it's your work, it's your baby. So um, I think really having clear objectives, what do you want? Uh, do you, is, is your main objective commercialize it? Because then there may be times or tough choices that you may have to do, but you need to be objective and remain sort of detached from, from that thing that you created to, to, to reach the goals. Yeah, it's good advice. It's not always easy to do, but it's really good advice. Um, okay, Paul, I have one last question and it's for you. I'd love to know what advice you would give to other entrepreneurs. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, I can, I can only talk about the things that have worked for us, you know, um, for the past three years. 
Um, I think the biggest one for us is you know bringing together the right team, right? Um, as founders, we, we, we were very fortunate. I knew Beatrice for almost five years before we started the company because we're in the same lab group, so we've developed that you know personal relationship, right? So as founders, it's quite very important to make sure that you know the the advices I bring on board, right? You know, have the right mindset and they believe in what you know the, the, the startup is about, right? It's very important uh, to have the right team by bringing the right advices. Um, the second biggest one is you know managing your resources. And as a startup, you only have two resources, time and the little funds that you have, right? <laughs> when you start, right? So it's very important to make sure that you manage those two very well. Uh, with time, you know, between the two of us, you know, we adopt what we call divide and conquer, right? At the beginning, you know, we attend almost every meeting, but it gets to a point just to learn because when we started, I guess to a point where, you know, you just have to share, delegate and share the time, right? Um, and take different meetings. So you can have a lot um, done. And we found, you know, you have to also stretch it out. You know, you need your runway, right? You have to be able to extend your runway because if you are out of funds, you know, you have no business. You can't, you can't operate anymore. You can't leverage it for other government grants. So it's very important to have that too. And the last one I'll say is networking, right? And that's one thing that my tax has provided for us, you know, giving us that platform, you know, exposing us, you know, um, nationally and internationally, right? And getting involved with various um, accelerator programs, you know, strategic partners, you know, um, also helps the startup to, you know, expand and, and explore um, very quickly. So, um, yeah, I think that those are the three main points that I'll, I'll give, you know, to, you know, other, other co-founders and entrepreneurs. Well, those are excellent points, Paul, and really things that people can apply uh, to their own experience. And I just want to thank you and Beatrice for joining us today for this fireside chat. Your lessons learned really have provided a lot of insight, but also inspiration for new entrepreneurs. And it's been a true pleasure to speak with both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Well, now I'm pleased to introduce Kayla Isabel, the CEO of Startup Canada, our event partner. Thank you for the introduction, Catherine. My name is Kayla Isabel, CEO at Startup Canada. Bonjour à tous. As an advocate for entrepreneurship in Canada and on behalf of the entire team here at Startup Canada, we are delighted to be here joining our long-standing partners at MyTax and the virtual audience here today. Since launching in 2012, Startup Canada has grown to represent entrepreneurs from coast to coast to coast through our flagship programs and grassroots communities. Last year alone, we engaged over 122,000 entrepreneurs across our digital programming. Through partnerships across the ecosystem, we connect entrepreneurs with support organizations and peers, like MyTax, across the country with industry expertise, regional knowledge, and funding. With trusted partners, we continue to support businesses as they develop innovative solutions to the world's most pressing challenges, create new employment opportunities for Canadians, and ultimately support Canada's overall economic prosperity. When we look at economic recovery from the impacts of COVID-19, we know entrepreneurs are going to be paving the way forward. The entrepreneurs profiled today are a strong illustration of the incredible innovation and entrepreneurial spirit that flows through our community. Thank you for all of the inspiring work MyTax continues to do every day to support and drive innovation. Congratulations, Felicitacion. Well, thank you, Kayla. MyTax is very grateful for Startup Canada's support. Before we continue, I will remind everyone to please join the conversation on Twitter as we go through the program. Je souhaite vous réitérer l'invitation à vous joindre à la conversation sur Twitter alors que nous poursuivons l'événement. And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Honorable Ross Romano, Ontario's Minister of Colleges and Universities. Welcome, Minister Romano. Thank you, Catherine, for that kind introduction. And good afternoon, everyone. I am Ross Romano, your Minister of Colleges and Universities. I'm so thrilled to be able to join you today to celebrate the five MyTax entrepreneurs who have been able to turn their groundbreaking research into innovative startups and new companies. The Ontario government is committed to supporting and celebrating the hard work of Ontario's entrepreneurs to advance research, innovations, and technologies, and an Ontario-made vision for our province. 
As we have seen this past year, research and innovation have been critical to the advancement of technologies that are going to help our healthcare sector in order to rebound and recover from COVID-19 and obviously to be able to fight COVID-19 and help treat this terrible, terrible virus. Entrepreneurs and startups have a positive impact on businesses, communities and economies. They're so integral to our local communities and they will help make Ontario's global reputation further what it is, as one of the best in research, one of the best in innovation, and one of the best in coming up with Ontario made solutions. I wanna give a very special thank you to MyTax for its sixth year now of highlighting and celebrating the hard work that entrepreneurs do here in Ontario to ensure that we are a place where people can grow and they can thrive their businesses, for the betterment of all of our community members. So congratulations again to the winners of the MyTax Entrepreneur Award. I look forward to seeing you again in the future and to seeing all the excellence that is coming from your ideas and your innovations and everything that you're doing to represent Ontario and Canada and of course throughout the entire world. Thank you so much for everything you are doing. Keep up the amazing work and always remember to please stay safe. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day. Well, thank you so much for your words, Minister Romano, and thank you to the Government of Ontario for its recent investments in MyTax and for placing your trust in us. Now, as we lead into the unveiling of today's winners, I would like to acknowledge that all have come through a very competitive process. To be considered, applicants must have participated in at least one MyTax program, and they must be a founder or member of the senior leadership team of their company. Les candidatures sont volumineuses et la compétition est féroce. Je vous invite donc à vous joindre à moi pour dire bravo à toutes les personnes ayant déposé des candidatures et celles qui se méritent des prix aujourd'hui. Now, without further ado, it is truly my pleasure to introduce the first of our MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. The Global Impact Entrepreneur is given to the startup that best demonstrates the potential to scale to international markets or have a worldwide effect. And the honor goes to Blue Lion Labs. And accepting the award on behalf of Blue Lion Labs is Jason DeGlint. Over to you, Jason. Thanks so much, Catherine. Hello everyone, my name is Chase McLint, CEO of Blue Line Labs. I'm extremely honored and grateful to receive this Global Impact Entrepreneur Award. During my PhD, I built a low-cost imaging system to automatically identify harmful algae in water using AI. And with this technology, I founded Blue Line Labs. Near the end of my PhD, I was concerned about how I would support myself financially while continuing to have my full focus on Blue Lion. It's thanks to the MyTax Accelerate Entrepreneur Program that I took a leap of faith to continue pursuing Blue Line Labs with an industrial postdoc position at the University of Waterloo. This has allowed Blue Lion to withstand the global pandemic, take on investments, and also form global strategic partnerships to bring our technology to market. There are so many people I need to thank. First off, within our local Ontario ecosystem, I want to thank the University of Waterloo specifically Velocity and Watsolve. And I also want to thank the Accelerator Center. Within Canada, I, I, there's a number of organizations I want to thank. First off, thank you Aquahacking for being Blue Line's very first investment and giving me a clear focus and purpose for my research. Thank you also NSERC, Enactus, as well as the NRC IRAP program. And also thank you to Canada's Ocean Startup Project in Atlantic Canada. There's also a number of global organizations that I want to thank. Thank you, Next Canada, for your investment and mentorship. Thank you, Bellamer, for working with us to prototype an imaging system. Thank you, Hatch, for your investment and getting us connected into the global aquaculture scene. And thank you, OTAC, for your investment and for being our strategic global partner. There are some very specific people I want to thank, as your ongoing support has been very critical. First, thank you to my supervisors, Alexander Wong and Chao Jin as you supported me in my research and encouraged me to explore my entrepreneurial ambitions. Thank you, Katie Thomas, my co-founder, for seeing the vision of Blue Lion and joining me to lead the team. Thank you also to Juwan Park and Vikram Valetti for being the first people to join our team. And finally, thank you to my close family and friends, especially my wife, Taylor, who has been an amazing support. But of course, thank you again, MyTax, for this award. For me, this award represents the support and encouragement from so many different people and organizations 
during my journey into entrepreneurship. 10 years ago, if you told me that today I would be getting this award, I wouldn't have believed you. So I'm extremely humbled and grateful. It's taught me that not only myself, but that all of us are capable of more than we realize. And that by dedicating ourselves and having the support of others, amazing things can happen. Thank you. Uh, well, congratulations, Jason, and congratulations to the whole team at Blue Lion Labs. You must all just be thrilled. I am delighted to announce our next winner for the Outstanding Entrepreneur Award, which recognizes an applicant with an extraordinary startup or business idea that is feasible and sustainable. The 2021 Outstanding Entrepreneur Award goes to Autonopia Technologies, Inc. Hussein Kamali is here to accept the award. So Hussein, over to you. Thank you, Catherine. Hello, my name is Hussein Kamali and I'm the co-founder and CTO of Autonopia Technologies. It is an honor to receive my tax Outstanding Entrepreneur Award. This award is a tremendous acknowledgement of all those who have supported myself and my colleagues over the past years. I completed my PhD in mechanical engineering and mechatronics at Simon Fraser University. I was also a student in the graduate program for science and technology commercialization at SFU School of Business. After graduating, I was soon employed in my field of expertise before choosing to start my own consulting business. Charismotive Technologies. Afterwards, I was pleased to join Autonopia as the co-founder and CTO. It was a pleasure to get to know Mohamed Dabiri, the founder of Autonopia. Our successful business relationship has led to innovation, including, to, including a solution to a particularly challenging engineering problem. In Autonopia, we automate rope access services using advanced robotic systems. Currently, we are manufacturing a high-rise window cleaning robot to do the job that is still surprisingly done by hand. Our patent-pending robotic system can cover all types of building facades and does not require any modifications to the existing structure. Our robot can clean three times faster than a human worker, regardless of weather conditions. Most importantly, it mitigates safety risks reduces costs and operational overhead significantly. Furthermore, the technology developed alongside the window cleaning application can be used in other industries, including clean energies. I would like to take this opportunity to thank MyTax for all their support. I've had the privilege to participate in MyTax workshops, both for project management and career professionalism. In 2018, I won the MyTax Global Inc. Research Award that let me spend three months in Sweden as a visiting researcher, experience that was truly enriching. And it was the MyTax Accelerate program that connected me with academia, industry, and the innovative ecosystem of Canada. Again, I would like to thank the founder of Autonopia, my supervisors and teachers, MyTax, and most importantly, my parents and my beloved wife. Thank you. Oh, congratulations, Hussein, to you and to your team at Autonopia. What an exciting moment. And now our Change Agent Entrepreneur Award, which recognizes a startup that demonstrates the potential to significantly improve an industry, process, or mindset. And our winner for this category hails from Quebec. Nous sommes très reconnaissants que le gouvernement du Québec ait été un partisan sans relâche de MyTax. It is my pleasure to announce this year's Change Agent Entrepreneur. That winner is Femme Therapeutics and Nagin Ashuri is here to accept the award. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, so hello, my name is Nagin Ashuri. Uh, I'm the co-founder and interim CEO at Fem Therapeutics, and I'm truly honored to be the recipient of this MyTax Award Change Agent uh, Entrepreneur. So my team and I started our journey from a program called Surgical Innovation, uh, which was held by Miguel and funded by NSERC Create. And then MyTax really helped us actually progress uh, more into the entrepreneurship world. It's uh, financial compensations uh, not only empowered me myself to focus um, full time on our company uh, and progress um, our product development 
and prepared us for the um, round of investment, but also it uh, helped us uh, expanding our team enormously, which otherwise wouldn't have happened. I would also like to thank uh, Adoption Center Entrepreneurship and Sontech and its partner for their support. So what actually Fem Therapeutics is doing? Due to childbirth and normal aging process, one in every 10 women around the world will have a condition called pelvic organ prolapse, which is the descent of the bladder, uterus, or rectum down the vaginal canal. Currently, there are two treatments for this condition. One is to be fitted with a pessary, which is an intervaginal device that holds uh, the pelvic organs. However, as you can see, the geometric and symmetrical shape of these pessaries are the reason why 40% of women will discontinue them because they are not a good fit for each um, patient's unique anatomy. The second option would be uh, going for a surgery, which is not only having lots of complications, but also having 30% risk of reoperation. So the solution is Fem Therapeutics. We are customizing um, a pessary for each patient. We obtain the patient's data from doctors, we analyze them, and finally, we 3D print a customized pessary for each patient. We are a multidisciplinary team with engineering, business, and medical background. We believe that pelvic organ prolapse is not a woman-only problem, and we are all here to make sure uh, that the quality of health is equal for everyone. It has been many years that I had the spirit of starting my own business and become an entrepreneur. Um, but um, as an immigrant and, a, and uh, as an international student who came uh, to Canada three years ago, I never thought it would be possible to start my startup uh, this early in my career. So uh, this Canadian Precious Award is really uh, a very big deal for me as it's a symbol of Canada's supportive society. I would also like to thank uh, my supervisor, my family and friends for their constant support, my partner for all the sacrifices that enabled me to um, focus on what mattered to me the most. And I would really thank you all for listening. Well, congratulations, Nagin, and to the whole team at Fem Therapeutics, such an achievement. The next category is for the Environmental Entrepreneur Award, which goes to an applicant whose startup has a positive impact on the environment or addresses a challenge related to climate change. Et cette année, nous avons deux lauréats dans cette importante catégorie. Le premier prix Entrepreneuriat écologique est décerné à Electrocarbon Incorporé et Ulrich Legrand a accepté le prix au nom de l'entreprise. Ulrich, je te cède la parole. Merci Catherine. Et euh, bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Ulrich Legrand, cofondateur et chef de la technologie d'électrocarbone. Je suis particulièrement honoré de recevoir aujourd'hui le prix Mitax Entrepreneur dans la catégorie environnementale. Électrocarbone, c'est une compagnie qui a pour but de convertir le CO2 en produits à forte valeur ajoutée, contribuer ainsi à la lutte contre le réchauffement climatique. Nous avons ainsi développé un procédé électrochimique où le CO2, avec de l'eau et de l'électricité, est transformé en acide formique un produit chimique possédant de nombreuses applications industrielles ainsi que des futures applications prometteuses. Par exemple, sous forme de sel de format, est utilisé dans le déglaçage des pistes d'atterrissage. L'acide formique, quant à lui, est utilisé dans les secteurs agricoles et textiles et dans les piles à combustible direct à l'acide formique, phase de développement. Nous en sommes présentement à l'étape de développement technologique et de mise à l'échelle de notre procédé plus précisément sur les trois composantes de notre technologie que sont catalyseur, qui vient aider à la réaction de conversion du CO2, la cellule électrochimique, dans laquelle toute la magie s'opère, et le système global, qui est l'électrolyseur à CO2. Ces tests de mise à l'échelle sont réalisés au Centre National en électrochimie et technologie environnementale, le CNES de Shawinigan. Nous prévoyons de développer prochainement une unité semi-commerciale de 125 kW avec l'aide de nos partenaires industriels, dont Seneca et la zone d'innovation de Bécancourt. La technologie a un impact environnemental positif, puisqu'une unité de 2 MW sera capable de prévenir les émissions directes et indirectes de 12 800 tonnes de CO2, soit l'équivalent de 3 000 voitures par an, tout en étant viable économiquement grâce à la forte valeur ajoutée de l'acide formique. En effet, une unité de 2 MW aura une période d'amortissement de moins de 3 ans. Je ne serai pas là aujourd'hui sans nos partenaires académiques et industriels qui nous aident au quotidien à concrétiser ce projet. Je tiens particulièrement à remercier Martin Larocque, 
cofondateur et président d'Electrocarbon. Je souhaiterais aussi remercier Mitax, qui m'a financé un stage de post-doctorat en collaboration avec l'université McGill, qui portait justement sur la conversion du CO2. Et ce stage qui nous a convaincu de nous lancer dans cette aventure. Donc, merci et merci encore Catherine. Ah, mes félicitations, Ulrich, et à toute l'équipe d'Electrocarbon. Our final winner of the day, also for environmental entrepreneur category, is it's Graphite Innovation and Technologies Inc. And Marcel Gaillère is here to accept the award on behalf of the company. Marcel, over to you. Uh, thank you very much, Catherine. Um, hello, uh, my name is Marcel Geyer. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Graphite Innovation and Technologies, uh, for short, uh, GIT. Uh, I'm pleased here and uh, very honored to receive the MyTax 2021 Environmental Entrepreneur Award. Uh, GIT was launched when I was conducting my PhD degree. Uh, it came from my idea of doing really meaningful science that are both for products and for the environment. Uh, surely, uh, it, it came a long way since uh, we started. And uh, finally, uh, I'm honored to be here. And uh, my, my experience as a material scientist, I truly believe that we can use science to reduce the human's impacts on nature, and we can live in harmony with our environment. Uh, my tax has been an uh, outstanding help for our company, uh, myself, uh, innovators and entrepreneurs. Um, and GIT has been uh, receiving and currently receives a lot of support uh, from different programs that MyTax uh, has to advance our product, uh, to improve the quality of our research and to find skilled, uh, highly skilled students and professionals to help us to bring uh, our products to the market and make our products even better. So with MyTax support, we can foster the development and research of our products, which uh, are more efficient. Uh, they save money to our end customers and end users, uh, but uh, they also reduce the environmental impact of the shipping industry into our oceans and into the environment. Uh, so the most important detail about this award uh, is being about our environment, uh, which uh, is the source of our life, and uh, it really makes a difference when you have a society that believes in uh, sustainable development. So women's society and the history uh, plays an important role into uh, the conservation of natural resources and uh, affects uh, how the life in our planet. So receiving this award for me is a sign that we are moving in the right direction and reinforces that we are doing uh, meaningful progress. So with that, uh, I would like to thank uh, my whole team at Graphite Innovation Technologies. Uh, I couldn't do this uh, by myself. Uh, I also would like to thank my co-founder, uh, Mo Algermosi, uh, my wife, uh, which is the love of my life. Uh, for believing and supporting GAT in, on its creation. And I'm sure uh, we're going to have a lot of progress uh, in the future and we're going to be able to change uh, the, the shipping industry to a more environmental, sustainable uh, site. Thank you very much, everyone. Well, thank you, Marcel. That was wonderful. And congratulations to you and your whole team. And congratulations to all of our winners and a tremendous thank you to our partners who support our programs and today's event. Vous avez beaucoup accompli. On behalf of MyTax and all of our partners, we are very proud of you. You hold the key to our future. And a special thank you to our audience. Thank you for attending the 2021 MyTax Entrepreneur Awards. If you enjoyed this award ceremony and want to be further inspired by the incredible talent all across Canada, I encourage you to follow MyTax for news of the 2021 MyTax Award Ceremony, which is coming this fall. Merci, mesdames et messieurs, et au revoir.